Dinger in the house, and good morning, Griffin. Welcome to PE on a Wednesday. Baseball boy in the house, loved your dance video. High five, Griffin. Welcome in, guys. Welcome to PE. Welcome to morning PE class. Safe and sane indeed, Tony. Giancarlo Stanton in the house. Outstanding. Welcome in. Yes, it's actually my wife's phone. Um, I've got my wife's phone on the Instagram. I've got my phone on Facebook. I've got our laptop on YouTube. Three cameras, three phones, Billy D in the house. Welcome in. Big morning uh, of PE, big afternoon of Sandlot and trivia. Uh, we got three cool virtual things today, folks. PE this morning. Matt Antonelli of Antonelli Baseball joining us at Sandlot at 3 Pacific, 6 Eastern. And then Cooper Henson. He's a, a youth baseball player, and he is going to be our co host for trivia. We're going to do Wednesday trivia. That's at 4 Pacific, 7 Eastern. Start marching, folks. Start marching on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube. Don't forget to check in with your nickname. Knott's Berry Farm is in the house. Welcome in. Clint Batten, Britt Murdoch. We got Judge Jr. in the house. Who else is checking in? Give us a nickname and where you're from, and let's go three claps. One, two, three. Let's go arms high. Sniff those armpits. Let me know what it smells like. Yep, Old Spice deodorant. Yep, rabbit food. Smells like rabbit food under the right one. Touch your toes. Don't pick your nose. Way to go. And bring it up out wide. Had an epic trivia uh, last night with Sevy. Sevy, our main man in uh, Ohio, did an epic job. Let's give Sevy an attaboy. One, two, three. Attaboy! And our winner, Dylan Burns, will host with me next Tuesday. So we're doing a lot of baseball trivia. It's popular. Uh, you guys are liking it, so we're going to keep doing it. Sniff your left kneecap. My left kneecap smells like Wednesday. Switch, right kneecap. That's it. Side to side. If you're just checking in, make sure you type your nickname because I like to name off all the nicknames at the end of class. Everybody that showed up today. And go pick uh, those strawberries on your marks. Get set. Wait. Make sure your shirt's tucked in. And go. One, two, three. 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 Onto the bee honkus butterflies. We had a few more uh, dance videos come in. Mr. Trey, appreciate it. Trey with an epic uh, dance video. And RM Simon as well. You guys swung a bat. And you posted the video with the hashtag ball game bomb challenge. And at the end of the week, we'll pick a winner. The winner gets a baseball bat, a free new baseball bat. So far, we've got uh, L Tizzle, Water Slide, Baseball Boy, Pickle, Penguin, Batman, Lando, RM Simon, and Trey. Make a V. Touch your left phalange. 
If you don't want your video to be public, just email it to coachballgame at gmail.com and I'll enter you into the contest. That is also perfectly fine. Chest all the way down to the leg and switch. By the way, tonight's trivia with Cooper Henson, winner of tonight's trivia, will help me host next Wednesday. That's the way we're doing it. The winner gets to co-host with me. I was up this morning rocking some baseball trivia. Here's the coolest part about baseball trivia. It's endless. There's so much. Both phalanges. Both of them. That's it. And modeling pose. Left leg out, right foot across. Twist and look behind you. If your back pops, say, oh, my lanta. And then hug that knee in. Hug it into the chest. Uh, as Vince Scully used to say, hello, wherever you may be. Welcome to Dodger Baseball. It's time for Dodger Baseball. And switch. Twist and look behind you. And hug that one in. Say, I love you, knee. I love you, knee. That's it. Downward facing dog. Cobra, upward facing. Half moon. We're going to stay here for 10 seconds. Try to balance. Use your core. This is all about your stomach muscles. The side of your stomach. This is how you hit bombs. This is how you throw it fast and kick it far. Switch. It's all done with your core. That's it. Stay there. And nice job. Let's go with the kicks. Boom. Two. Ten of them. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Very good. Hustle salute. Go a little faster. Go a little faster. Go a little faster. Freeze. Faster. Freeze. Faster. Freeze. Turn back. Faster. Freeze. Three claps. One, two, three. Arm circles. Start small. Get bigger. Till they're real big. And go back. Start small. Get bigger. Till it's real big. And hug yourself. Who else has checked in? Boomer's in the house. Way to go. Justin Sherman in the house. Mom and dad in the house. Happy Wednesday. Soto is here. Flamingo is here. Love it. Little Tizzle in the house. Penguin and Pickle are in the house. Hello. Make sure you check in with your nickname. Move that neck around. Twist that trunk. And we have a young man named Flamingo. That's his nickname. It's his birthday today. So we're going to do the Flamingo stretch and sing happy birthday to him. He lives in Arizona, so sing it nice and loud. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Switch. Happy birthday, dear Flamingo. Happy birthday to you. Hey! Let's give him an attaboy. One, two, three. Attaboy! Nice. Ten jumping jacks, folks. On your marks. Get set. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Team meeting pose. On a knee, shoulders back. Deep breath in, out the mouth. Staring contest, you and me, go. If you talk, you lose. If you blink, you lose. If you burp, you lose. And stop. Round of applause. Now, before we get started, um, what do we got? I see 16 on YouTube. I see 10 on Instagram. I see eight on Facebook. You're the only 35 kids in America that has tuned in today. All right. The other 18 billion, they have not tuned in. That means you guys have chose to be awesome. I got to give you an eye black salute. Thank you for choosing to be awesome. Super Henry, Judge Jr., Flamingo, Soto, Puppy Pro, Dammy in the house, Poppy in the house, 
my dad's in the house, Billy D. All of you have chosen, so I give you an eye black salute and a mustache salute and a beard salute and a mullet salute and a Brad Pitt salute and a bounce back salute and a scholar salute, double bicep, triple bicep, quadruple bicep, sportsmanship salute. One minute of jogging. Go. I'll play a little music while you're running through the house, up the stairs, in the front yard, in the backyard. Let me know where you're jogging. Puppy Pro, are you running in place right there in the living room? What about you, Fireball? What about you, Soto? Super Henry, where are you running today? Danny Nagy, Alex Strayhorn in the house, Grandma Squeaky Cheeks, Penguin and Pickle, Knott's Berry Farm, Billy D. What else is going on? John Carlos Stanton, where are you running? Five more seconds. What's up, Ryan O? And stop. Very good. Uh, John Carlos Stanton corrected me. There's only seven billion in the whole world. So that is correct. So out of the seven billion, you are the only 35 that's here. You're the 35 that have chosen to be awesome. Now, let's choose to make our eight cones. If you don't have cones, socks. If you don't have socks, go to Walmart. Or Big Lots. I get my socks at Big Lots. I'll get six pairs for $5. White crew socks. They come up to the mid-calf, perfect. Have you got your straight line of cones or socks or uh, whatever you might be using? Puppy Pro running around the house, that a girl. Flamingo in the house, Little Tizzle. Dinger, Knott's Berry Farm. Smooth Jazz, Griffin the Myth. I think your nickname should be Smooth Jazz, by the way. Dominator in the house, love that. All right, gang. Let's do this. We're going to start with zigzags, push-ups, and a surprise. So you're at the end. On your marks, get set, go. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Five push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. And now jump around like you've got ants and bees in your shoes. Spin around. Oh, my, we got the bees and the ants in our shoes. And stop. Water break. Nice job. Whew. Some people say ants in my pants. I say ants in my socks. Big lot socks. Again, my nine people that have sent in a video for a chance to win a new bat, bomb bats, is Trey, Trey Fox, R.M. Simon, Lando, Batman, Penguin, Pickle, Baseball Boy, Water Slide, and El Tizzle. What does that mean? Swing a bat. Whew. And then do some sort of dance. Whatever dance you want to. And then post it on Instagram with the hashtag. Ball game bomb challenge. A bomb bat doesn't break. It's a wooden bat that doesn't break. Back to the action. Let's do it again. On your marks, let's go, birthday boy flamingo. Who can beat me? Get set, go, zigzag. Five push ups. One, two, three, four, five. And then 10 seconds of oh, ants in your socks. Oh, wow, they're biting red ants, biting me. Whoa. Once you've got the 10 seconds of that, water break. You should be a little out of breath. If so, deep breath in and a water break. Wolfie's gonna send in their uh, video today. Love that. Captain America in the house. Might be my favorite nickname so far today. Whew. Arms high, deep breath in. Slowly out the mouth. 
Giancarlo Stanton beat me. So you guys see if you can beat me on this third round of zigzags, push-ups, and ants in the socks dance. See if you can beat me. On your marks, get set. Here we go. Three, two, one, begin. Zigzag. Like a running back in football. Five push-ups. Ten seconds. Oh, wow. Ooh. Whoa. Good thing my shirt was tucked in. Hello, March. Hello, Aunt Lizzie. Come on in, everybody. Make sure you check in with a nickname. Looks like Speedy's in the house, and Speedy beat me. Wolfie beat me. Anybody else beat me? Puppy Pro, Fireball, Flamingo, Dinger, Knott's Berry Farm, Smooth Jazz, Mom, Dad, Super Henry, Judge Jr., Dominator, Soto, did you beat me in Missouri? Super Henry tied me in Los Angeles, California. Very nice. Way to go, Soto. Mustache salute to you. I want to go with a trivia question. Sevy beat me. Sevy beat me in Ohio. Love that. Pickle and Penguin beat me in Irvine. Sleepovers in the house. Oh, yeah. We got Coach Taco in the house. He's ready to do some working out with us. So here's my trivia question. Where did my friend Coach Taco play college baseball? That's it. Good luck. There's a lot of college baseball teams out there, and he was a left-handed pitcher at one of the colleges in America. Can you guess it? By the way, John Cena just beat me. Billy D in the house. He beat me. Play tag is here. Yeah, play tag. Let's give her an Atta Girl. One, two, three. Atta Girl. Taylor York in the house. She was our kicker on the football team in high school. She won homecoming queen and she kicked a field goal on the only in Ramsar, North Carolina. At a girl, Tay Tay. It wasn't Brown University. Here's your hint. Tar Heels. Who can answer it first? He ended up playing with the Cardinals. But before that, he was a Tar Heel. That's it. North Carolina is correct. Dominator got that one right. There's a little warm-up for you as we've got trivia today, 4 o'clock Pacific, 7 Eastern, um, and the winner gets to host with me next Wednesday. Sevy's on this uh, feed right now, and he, he was epic last night with his trivia. Great job, Sevy. All right, back to our cones. Now... We're going to frog jump backwards. Frog jump backwards. Go. Frog jump. Frog jump. Frog jump. Frog jump. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Very good. And now we did this yesterday. Karaoke. Left across, left behind, left across, left behind. Right over, right under, right over, right under. Left. Very good. And then speedy jumping jacks. Ten of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Little water break after each set. Now for the next two sets, you'll try to beat me. Little competition. UNC is correct. North Carolina Tar Heels. Where my main man, Coach Taco, went. Bo Dickerson is his name. All right, gang, can you beat me? Backwards frog jumps, karaoke, and you've got five of these. You go across, that's one. You go across, that's two. You got five of those, and then 10 speedy jumping jacks. Make sure your shirt's tucked in, Flamingo, Play Tag, Soto, Knott's Berry Farm, Super Henry. On your marks. Get set. Go. Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, 
Ribbit. Ribbit. Karaoke. Right over, right behind. Over, behind. Left over, left behind. It's like a dance. This is another one of those dance moves I pull out during weddings. Mrs. Ballgame loves it. Especially during the slow songs. And then 10 fast jumping jacks. Anybody beat me? Anybody beat me? Super Henry tied me. Oh, Jake N25, he got me. Sevy beat me. Wolfie got me. Giancarlo Stanton, Billy D, they all beat me. Knott's Berry Farm beat me. I love it. Mark Heilig in the house, mustache salute. By the way, what class number is this? Can anybody guess what PE class is this? We started this virtual class when the uh, quarantine started. So I don't know if this is happy news or depressing news, but what quarantine PE class is this? 48. This is class number 48. That means Friday is going to be 50. Wolfie got that correct. So did Jake. Knott's Berry. This is the 48th class. Um, we need an idea of how to party on Friday because it's class number 50. I don't know about you guys, but I, I'm starting to I'm starting to get some more muscles because of all these classes. Soto is too. Anybody else waking up going, man, I'm stronger. Judge Junior is. Billy D, Penguin and Pickle are. All right, see if you can beat me again. Here we go. On your marks, get set, go. It's important to stay on your toes for all these exercises. Don't get on your heels. You got to stay on your toes so you bounce like a diving board at a pool. Whenever I'm dancing at a wedding or a party, I stay on my toes. I never get on my heels. We call it the universal athletic position. You're always in a position where nobody can push you over. Fielding a ground ball, playing defense in basketball, getting ready to return a serve in tennis or volleyball, golf, spiking volleyball, shooting basketballs, universal. Judge Jr. says Friday would be a good day for a water party. You know, it'd be cool if I could make some water balloons and throw them at you and they go through the TV and hit you in the face. That'd be pretty cool, Judge Jr. I'm in California. You're in Tampa, Florida. But I'm sure down the road, Apple and uh, Macintosh will be able to figure that out. I don't think they've figured that out yet. Soto is much stronger. Puppy Pro thinks a wacky costume day. Now that could be cool. And uh, I've never worn a wacky costume in my life, but I think Friday's a good day to try. I might be joking there. Dominator, <laughs> hang in there, Dominator. It's okay. Dominator needs a little pump up. Let's give him an attaboy. One, two, three. Attaboy. My mom said, or actually, that's my dad. My dad says we should have a dance party while listening to Foo Fighters. Sweet. How about all of that into one day, Friday? And keep bringing uh, your ideas for class number 50. So far, we're going to dress up wacky. We're going to dance to Foo Fighters. We got a water party. Love it. Okay, last round here with our eight cones. So now we're going to go kangaroo hops. We go over, over, and then move to the next one. Kangaroo hop, move to the next one. Kangaroo hop, move to the next one. Kangaroo hop, up to the next one. Do it with me, up to the next one. Hop, hop, up to the next one. Hop, hop, up to the next one. Hop, hop, up to sit-ups. And you've got five. One. Two, 
three, four, and five. And 10 flosses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good thing my shirt was tucked in. Whew. So there's our warm up. Now you know what to do. See if you can beat me. I love how the numbers are up on Instagram today. My guys are spreading the word. Appreciate you spreading the word. Keep telling your friends, hey man, there's this crazy guy who tucks his shirt in. He's wacky, but uh, I've been getting a lot stronger and faster because I've been going to his class. By the way, if you haven't tuned in any Sandlots, who did we have on yesterday on our Sandlot? Just an Olympic gold medalist, Amanda Freed, one of the best softball players ever. Today, who do we have? Former Major League Baseball player Matt Antonelli played with the Padres. He'll teach us about some advanced skills of fielding the ground balls and throwing over to first. Also some hitting skills. Tomorrow, who's lined up? Former Major Leaguer Marlon Bird. I mean, come on, man. We're not messing around at the Sandlot. So tune in. Instagram Live, YouTube Live, 3 Pacific. Here we go. Wait. Is your shirt tucked in? Good. On your marks. Get set. Kangaroo hops. Hop, hop to the next one. Hop, hop to the next one. For the next one. Hop, hop to the next one. Hop, hop. Pet your baby Joey. Pet your baby Joey in your pouch. Sit-ups. Five of them. Are you going to beat me, Billy D? Are you going to beat me, Dominator? Colby? And 10 flosses. Flamingo, play tag. Are you going to get me, Judge Jr.? Not Sperry Farm. Nine and 10, Giancarlo Stanton. Pickle. Penguin. Wolfie in the house. Welcome in if you're just joining us. We're in the middle of an epic. Old man Wrigley should join us on Friday for our party. Whew. That's Barry Farm beat me. Wolfie and John Carlos and Billy D and Sevy all beat me. Man. And you know what's hard is you guys beat me and you type that you beat me before I even get done. That's pretty amazing. Puppy Pro beat me. Mustache salute. Let's give Puppy Pro a Puppy Pro salute. Puppy, 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 a lick, lick in my face. Let's brush, let's brush your teeth now. Oh, she's licking my face again. Whew. I love puppies. Back to the action. All right. On your marks. I can't tell if you're laughing, by the way. I'm just kind of imagining that you are. But it's, it's eerie silence in my backyard. On your marks, get set, go. Kangaroo, and a quick. Kangaroo, and a quick. Kangaroo, and a quick. Kangaroo, and a quick. Come on now. Look at these quick choppy steps. Staying on my toes though. All right, sit-ups. Engage the abdominals. Two, three. Four, five, and the floss. <laughs> Some of you are wondering, how do I have more energy now than I did when I started this class? Well, it's science. It's called endorphins. Who can spell endorphins correctly? Type it on, you'll get a shout out. When you start moving around, these little things called endorphins fire synapses into your brain. And your brain lets your body know, hey, I'm feeling pretty happy. Bill Nye, the science guy, taught me that. 
Nice job. Wolfie, first one to type it in correctly. Little tizzle, uh, also tied. Endorphins. PH, not an F. Look at us. We're working math, science, reading, spelling, PE, all in one class. Whew. Will Thompson in the house. Let's give Will Thompson a bicep salute and a Brad Pitt salute. He kind of looks like Brad Pitt in the movie Legends of the Fall. Good job, Will Thompson. So we're going to go ahead and do our two minutes of what a ball player does activity now. What does that mean? Well, go help out your mom and dad washing the dishes. Maybe you got to make your bed. Maybe you got to clean up the room. But take two minutes, sweep the floor, change your baby brother's dirty diaper, clean the toilets, and then meet me back here. On your marks, get set, go. Two minutes. Let me know what activity you're doing, Soto. Soto usually makes his bed right about this time. What are you doing, Dominator? What about you, Judge Jr. and Super Henry? What might you be doing, Little Tizzle and Dominator and Giancarlo Stanton and Billy D, Penguin, Pickle? What you doing, Puppy Pro, Knott's Berry Farm, Fireball? Wow, Giancarlo Stanton made breakfast for his parents. Sportsmanship salute. Soto making the bed and the parents' bed. Sportsmanship salute. Little Tizzle sweeping the floor. Outstanding. Who's S. Kerr again? Is that Steve Kerr, the coach of the Golden State Warriors? If it is, Steve Kerr is cleaning the TV room. Puppy Pro cleaning the living room. Beard salute. What's the nickname on that? Skur 12,000. Billy D. made coffee. Wow. Epic. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. All right, great job. Now you see what I've got set up. It's a segment called what? What is this segment called? Can you beat coach ball game? Trash can in the middle, four bases. Home first, second, and third. In case you missed it at the very beginning, it's Flamingo's birthday. So we sang happy birthday to him while doing the Flamingo stretch. Let's give him a round of applause right now. Please do let me know when it's your birthday. We'll sing happy birthday to you. And maybe we'll dance for you as well. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. So... We're going 10 push-ups at each base and then make your shot. Who can beat Coach Ball game in this game? Go! 10 push-ups. And then you got to bend your knees and shoot your basket. That's it. I'm using a sock, by the way, for my basketball. Second base, 10 push-ups. That's it. Bend the knees, shoot the basket. Third base, 10 push-ups. Shoot the basket. 
and home plate. 10. Done. Anybody beat me? Wow. Sevy cleaned the basement, by the way. Pickle cleaned all the doorknobs. Speedy made his family's bed and made coffee. Wolfie swept. Wow. Very good. Get some water after that one. Did anybody get me? Soto, did you beat me? We did 40 push-ups on that one. Little Tizzle, honesty salute. She said she did not beat me on that one, but she was honest. Judge Jr. sorted out the laundry, sportsmanship salute. Oh, Giancarlo Stanton, then just do a fake throw into the trash can. If you don't have a sock or a ball, just do a fake throw. Welcome in, Josh Rich. All right, round two. These are our punches. So we do 10 punches at each base, but really use your hips and your stomach muscles right over here. It's kind of like you're hitting a baseball or you're punching a punching bag. You can't just use your arm. You got to, boom, go Elvis Presley with your hips and stomach muscles. On your marks, get set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, nine, ten. Shoot your basket. Nice. See that rotation there? Rotate. Boom. If you want to add sound effects, do it. I like to say yaw or pow or wow. Those are three of my favorite words. Flamingo and Play Tag made their beds. <laughs> Play tag said, ooh, to change in baby brother's <laughs> dirty diaper. Yeah, that would count as two chores if you did that. John B is in the house. He's going to win one of these trivia contests very soon. Wolfie beat me. Billy D beat me. Great job. If you're wondering why my hair is hanging over my ears, haven't been able to get a haircut. It's probably been about 80 days now. Trivia question before we get to our third round. Trivia question. What time is our trivia contest tonight? It's on my Instagram live. This category is things I said 10 minutes ago. What time is our trivia contest tonight? Well, wow, Knott's Berry Farm doing the dishes. Wow, awesome. Sportsmanship salute, Knott's Berry. It's 4 o'clock Pacific, 7 Eastern. Next trivia question. What time is Sandlot? Four o'clock is the trivia. What time is Sandlot? Jake N. Very good. Three. Three o'clock Sandlot. Very nice. And today we're going to be working on defensive skills and hitting skills with Matt Antonelli. All right, back to it, folks. All right. So this one is a little bit different. At each base, we've got to run in place, and we've got to pass the ball back and forth ten times. Maybe get a balled up piece of paper, Giancarlo Stanton, if you don't have a, a ball. But you've got to run in place and you got to do 10 just like this. And don't forget to shoot your basket afterwards. On your marks, play tag. Get set, Flamingo. 
Go! And shoot. Basketball was my first love, by the way. I would shoot basketball for hours in the backyard. I would practice Michael Jordan moves. The Michael Jordan shot over Craig Elo. Practice that one every day. Oh, I missed the shot. I got to do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Hand-eye coordination. Ten. Very nice. Anybody beat me? By the way, the motion is here. If you were at Sandlot on Monday, we worked this with Coach Duke Baxter. It's kind of like a pterodactyl. When you catch a ball, you want to pass it like this. You don't want to pass it like this. You want to pass it like this. Catch, boom, catch, boom, catch, boom. Double play like Ozzie Smith. Whew. Little Tizzle beat me on that one. Puppy Pro beat me. Sevy beat me again. Miami Roy beat me. Pickle and Penguin. You guys are crushing it. Way to go. Billy D, honesty salute. He did not beat me on that one. Nicely done. Water break. And let's go chugging contest. Let's see who can chug the most in three seconds. And stop. Very nice. Speedy is in the house with a mustache salute. Knott's Berry Farm beat me. Great job. Gen Z beat me. I think that's Speedy. Is that Speedy? I always forget Gen Z. I don't know why. Soto got me. Very good. All right. Last one. And this is the least favorite of mine, but it's the most productive. It makes me the most strong. It's the burpee. And we're going to do five. Five at each base. Burpee time. What's a burpee? Jump up in the air, and then you go down and touch your chest to the ground. On your marks. Get set. Go. Up and down. Five of them. And here we go. Great job, Super Henry. Great job, Judge Jr. Great job, Soto. Wolfie. Not very Farm. Little Tizzle. Flamingo. Puppy Pro. Play Tag. Fireball. Duda. Poppy. Auntie Tracy. Mom. Dad. Grandma Squeaky Cheeks. Who did I miss? Oof. I miss Jake. I miss Dinger. I miss Dominator. Giancarlo Stanton. Speedy. Woo! This is tough. Last one. Not going to give up. Wow. Oh, if I had one exercise to give to each of you, if you could only do one exercise per day, do that. Do the burpee. Whoo. Water break. Ram chargers in the house. Unicorns in the house. Devin Cox, David. Oh, Soto beat me. Soto. Woo. Are you breathing as hard as me, Soto? Great job, buddy. That was the first time today that Soto beat me. He never gave up. What's a good never gave up salute? Maybe this. Just climbing. Just continuing to climb. Anybody else got any good physicality ideas? for a never give up salute. It's 
funny, I look at my watch. We've got seven minutes left of class. Perfect amount of time to do the seven. All right, get your graphs, get your, uh, your balls or whatever you use for your seven exercises. Whew. Here's my graph, doing a line graph. Horizontal, that's the dates. Vertical, that's the number of reps that I did. And I'm trying to track this way. Trying to get a little bit better each day. So, I'm gonna clean up my area here. And what is our first drill? Whoever can uh, let me know who the first, what the first drill is first, gets a shout out. Boy, mustache salute. Miami Roy, just hang in there, bud. Hang in there, Miami. Do the best you can. Just try to stay positive. That's what I'll say. High Five the Sky is the name of the drill. Okay, I hope you're ready to go. On your marks, 60 seconds of this get set and go. Every time you catch it, it's a point. And you can use either hand. I'm going to alternate today. Toss it up, catch it with my left, and then catch it with my right. But I got to make sure I catch it above my head. I can't go cup of soup below my chin. This is a cup of soup. Nah, 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 nah. Meet it, squeeze it, and freeze it. We haven't sang that song in a while. Boy, is it a classic. Meet it, squeeze it. Meet it, squeeze it. Meet it, squeeze it. But don't. Ten seconds. Five seconds. And stop. Nice job, El Tizzle, Knott's Berry Farm. So my high five, the sky is pink. I've got seven different uh, colors here. Seven different colors. Welcome in, Carter. And great job right there. Same as yesterday. So I connect those dots. Number two is the wall drill. Toss the tennis ball up against the wall or whatever type of ball you might have. I'm going to alternate hands once again. Toss it with my right, catch it with my left, and then toss it with my left, catch it with my right. But I've got to go fingers to the sky, meet, squeeze, and freeze. Rawr, like that. You can't go cup of soup. On your marks, get set, go. That's it. Notice I'm staying on my toes and I'm stepping towards the ball when I catch it. I see the ball all the way into my hand. Twenty seconds remaining. If it's a low one, bend your knees. Get your beat honkers low to the ground. Fifteen seconds remaining. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. Five seconds remaining. And stop. Very good. Jot that number down on your graph. Put the little dot there. The date how many you got, connect the dots if you're doing that. Now, if you were with us Monday at the Sandlot, um, Coach Duke Baxter taught us about this. When you're fielding a ground ball, and we call this the alligator drill, you should be able to balance a bucket lid on your back. You don't want your back to be arched. You want it to be straight. That means the bee honkus is down to the ground, bend the knees. Alligator drill, if you want to use a tambourine or a bucket lid, on your back, go ahead, go. Feel the ground ball with the straight back. 
it's really tough when you're moving, but try. Try to move with that straight back. Oh, it's a toughie. And don't forget to alligator smack it. Alligator smack it. Oh, it fell off. With that good straight back, that good posture. Bend your knees. Show you from the side here. Soft hands when you're fielding it. Soft hands. Meet it with soft hands. 15 seconds to go. There we go. Good job. And stop. Very nice. Very nice. Jot that number down. As always, if, if somebody wants to use colorful uh, language on Instagram or any of these chats, then I've got to say bye-bye to you. And you can't see my live videos anymore. Um, just say smart words. Okay? Not negative ones. I know there's temptations out there. Sometimes you want to uh, use bad language because you see other people doing it and you think they're cool. Incorrect. Doesn't make you cool. What makes you cool? Doing awesome things. Helping people. Making people feel happy. Very good. Okay. Hashtag what a ball player does. Number four, soccer juggling. Soccer juggling. This is my toughest. Toughest one. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, I got three in a row. How many in a row can you get? Five. Got five. If you don't have a soccer ball, use a sock or a, a balled up piece of paper. My record today is five. Four. Oh, three. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. How many in a row can you get? Three. 10 seconds remaining. I got five again. Five seconds. And stop. Very good. Very good, very good, very good. Well done. That's right. So, soccer juggling is red. I use the red color for my soccer juggling. And I, I've stayed at that same kind of number. Six, five, six. Today I got five. So I'm going to keep working on that one. The ones where your lines are flat, those are the ones that you have to work twice as hard on. So that's soccer juggling. That's the one I need to work two times as much. The ones that are going up like this steadily, that's a good sign. You're on the rise. Number five is figure eight. Figure eight. Figure eight. We got the basketball. Use a soccer ball. Whatever you need. Whatever you got but we're going through the legs right here. Same thing, bucket lid on your back or a tambourine, keep it on there for that straight back. On your marks, get set, go. See if you can get more than me right here. Stay on your toes. Universal athletic position. We don't want to be on our heels. <laughs> Come on, baby ball game. How am I doing, baby ball game? Doing good? Figure eight. Her figure eight includes eating a banana. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. No diaper? Whoa, 20 seconds left in baby ball game's first day of big girl underwear. No diaper, <laughs> how about that? Good job. 10 seconds remaining. 
I'm, this is probably a little distracting for you trying to do your figure eights, but that's good. And stop. <laughs> hey, let's give baby ball game and add a girl for wearing big girl underpants. One, two, three. Add a girl. <laughs> Hashtag potty training there. All righty. Very nice. That's it. That's it. Outstanding. Once again, we had a, a, a little chat about the uh, proper language and what a ball player does language and uh, had to, you know, had to take somebody and, and send them out of the classroom, so to speak, because they were speaking disrespectfully. Um, it's easy to say those negative things and, and, and negative words. You know what's really difficult? To be awesome. It's difficult to be awesome. So try to make those small choices that take you to Awesomeville instead of Ville. Number six, hula hoop. You want to do the hula hoop with me with your bananas? On your marks, get set, go. Hula hoop it. The Jerry West drill, the Pistol Pete Maravich drill around the waist. Make sure your shirt's tucked in. It's going to help you. Stay with it. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. And switch directions. Go the other direction. That's it. Go around your waist with it, girls. Go around the waist with it. Puppy Pro, Fireball, Dinger, Jake Ann, Judge Jr., Super Henry, Pickle, Penguin. Come on, Speedy, Knott's Berry Farm. Ah! Ten seconds remaining. Come on, Wolfie. Come on, Speedy. And stop. Awesome. Jot that number down. Where's our paper? Hula hoop is light green. Where's our paper? Oh, it's okay. You don't have to do it today. And the last one is the ping pong drill or the volleyball. All right, me and baby ball game are going to do the volleyball drill uh, as partners where we're going to try to volley it back and forth. This is our last one, and then we will see you next time. On your marks, get set, go. Volley like this. Volley. Nice. Good job. Nice. Good try. If you're going volley, you want to hold it like this. Show them, show them how you put your hands. Show them, show them how you put your hands. You have to bend your knees. You have to put one hand out, the other hand, and then put your palms in. Just like that. That's it. Whoops. Woo! <laughs> Twenty seconds left on the ping pong or the volleyball. Oh, good try. Whoa. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop. Great job, everybody. Round of applause. Way to go. I will see you at Sandlot, 3 o'clock Pacific, and trivia contest tonight at 4. It's going to be epic. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on the YouTube. Um... See you later, Speedy. See you, Wolfie. See you, Dinger. Every day, Miami Roy. Every day. Great job, Soto. You got it. Great job, Jake Ann. Super Henry. a boy. Appreciate you guys tuning in. See you, Dinger. See you, Mom and Dad. Bye, Amanda. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye, Speedy. Great job, MZ Jules. Bye, Emma. Oh, come over here, so. Say bye, Amanda. Bye, Amanda. Scoot back a little bit. Scoot back. There they are. Wave. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Toodaloo.
third fastest. Hi, Is that your nickname, third fastest? Great job, Flamingo. Absolutely. Fit Lab, personal training. Fit Lab. Woo -woo. See you, little Tizzle. Okay, gotcha. Third fastest. That's a great nickname. See you, Knott's Berry Farm. Come on, let's do it. All right. 